where to live in Dayton, Ohio. If you're moving to Dayton, Ohio, there are many suburbs of Dayton to choose from. And even if you're already here and considering a move, you may wonder where's the best place to live. Hi, I'm Lydia Rowe, a realtor here in Tip City. And on this channel, I like to talk about all things living in the Miami Valley of Ohio. Today, we're diving into 10 suburbs around Dayton. From the charm of Oakwood to the bustling streets of Beaver Creek, we've got a lot to cover. And if you stay with me to the end, I have a comprehensive 15 step guide to buying in this area that you will not want to miss. Now I know this video isn't long enough to cover all the suburbs or even the ones I'm featuring in detail. And if you live in this area, I want to apologize in advance if I left out your hometown or your favorites. I'll try to cover more in another video. The truth is there are a lot of really great options and a lot is gonna depend on what you are looking for and what's most important to you. Are you looking for a small town feel? Do you like to be right in the middle of all the action? The good news is Dayton is a great place for a commute. The highways usually move fast and between I-75, I-70, 675, 35, and 40, you can get where you wanna go fast. The other great thing about Dayton, Ohio is that it has an international airport that's generally very easy to get to and fairly uncrowded. And if you need to get to a larger airport, Columbus and Cincinnati are both just a little over an hour away. If you're relocating to Dayton area for a job or military at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, you might wanna check out this other video, but this one is more general overview of a few areas here. Before I get into the suburbs, I wanna mention that the ones I'm featuring today span three different counties. And I'll start with a few in Montgomery County, then one in Greene County, and move on to Miami County. The reason I wanna draw your attention to this is because property taxes are very different between these three counties. You have to look at each property individually, of course, because different cities and neighborhoods might have special assessments. But in general, you're going to find that Miami County property taxes are about half for the same price house in Montgomery. Why this is important to note is that if you're willing to commute just a little farther north, you can get more bang for your buck. But those northern suburbs have a different feel as well, so it depends on what you want. I have a PDF that breaks down all of the area counties and the average property tax rate on homes at 300,000 and 200,000. If you'd like me to send you that, just write in the comments, I want the property tax chart, and send an email to Lydia at listwithlydia.com. And here's a tip. Don't put your email in the comments unless you want 100 realtors chasing you down. <laughs> now, a lot of people wanna know about safety. What neighborhoods are safe? This is going to vary per individual. I can't really tell you this neighborhood is safe and this one isn't safe. But to help you on this, I'm just gonna pull in some stats on crime from third-party sources like bestplaces.net. Bestplaces.net has a scale of one to 100, the lower being less crime. US average for violent crime is 22.7 and for property crime is 35.4. So when I throw out the numbers for these suburbs you can compare. Also, I'll show you the maps and the stats from crimegrade.org. Not all areas are covered on both sites. Another thing you can do is check the sex offender database for the area that you're considering and call the local police station and ask about the crime rate on a particular streets. If you're close enough, driving around different neighborhoods at different times of day or even knocking on some doors and talking with neighbors is a great way to get to know an unfamiliar area. I'm also going to use niche.com to pull ratings for schools and some other things they rate. I'll also mentioned their median house price, but I did find that to be super low and not very accurate. They probably haven't updated those for a while, but I want you to see the rent versus own stats that are on niche.com. I'll also put some Zillow stats for home sale prices too, because they're a little bit more up to date. Okay. I've talked enough. Let's get to what you came here for. First on my list for Montgomery County is Oakwood. Oakwood is a picturesque suburb that's like stepping into a storybook. With its tree-lined streets, historic homes, and meticulously maintained gardens, Oakwood offers a serene and up scale living experience. It's not just the aesthetics that make Oakwood special. With a population of just 9,496, it's a community where neighbors know each other and local businesses thrive. The suburb prides itself on its strong educational system with schools that are consistently ranked among the best in the state. Whether you're taking a leisurely stroll through Schaefer Park or enjoying the annual events that bring the community together, Oakwood embodies the charm of suburban living. Beyond its visual appeal, Oakwood is a hub for those who value community engagement and a high quality quality of life. The suburb boasts of an array of amenities, including top rated restaurants, boutique shops, and cultural institutions that enrich residents' lives. Safety and community well-being are top priorities here, with various initiatives in place to ensure Oakwood remains a peaceful place to live. With its convenient location, residents enjoy easy access to amenities of downtown Dayton while retaining the tranquility of suburban life. Oakwood is truly a gem for those seeking a refined living experience coupled with a strong sense of community. Take a look at the ratings on niche.com.
Niche.com puts median home sale price at 313,000. Rent versus own is 19 to 81. Zillow typical home value is more at that 360,000 range and it's up 8.7% over last year. Here's the safety ratings on bestplaces.net and there are no ratings on crimegrade.org for Oakwood. Next, we venture into Beaver Creek, population 46,500 known for its perfect blend of suburban tranquility and modern conveniences. As one of the largest suburbs of Dayton, Beaver Creek came to a diverse community with its sprawling parks, extensive shopping centers, and a wide range of dining options. The Beaver Creek Wetlands Nature Reserve is a testament to the suburb's commitment to preserving natural beauty amidst growth. Families and professionals alike are drawn to Beaver Creek for its reputable schools, bustling economy, and the sense of belonging it fosters. The community is active and vibrant, hosting events that celebrate the arts, sports, and local cuisine, making it a dynamic place to live. Beaver Creek's appeal is also in its variety of neighborhoods, offering something for every lifestyle and budget. From charming older homes to new construction with the latest amenities, residents have their pick of living spaces. This suburb is proud of its educational achievements with schools that provide innovative programs and extracurricular activities to support student development. Beaver Creek also stands out for its safety with dedicated public services ensuring a secure environment. Its proximity to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base adds to the area's diversity and economic stability, making Beaver Creek a sought-after location for military families and civilians alike. Here's the niche dot com ratings. Niche.com puts median home sale price at 245,000, rent versus own is 27 to 73, and Zillow typical home value is more around that 300,000 mark with a 6.5% increase over last year. Here's the safety ratings on bestplaces.net, and here's the stats in the map from crimegrade.org. Kettering stands out as a beacon of community and innovation in the Miami Valley. Population 57,000, known for its beautiful parks and things like the Frey's Pavilion, which hosts summer concerts under the stars, and the Rosewood Art Center offering classes and galleries for the artistically inclined. Kettering is a suburb that cherishes culture and community. Families thrive here, supported by an education system with a re reputation for excellence. Kettering's neighborhoods range from the quaint, historic homes to modern developments, all surrounded by green spaces and parks that encourage outdoor activities and community gatherings. The spirit of Kettering is embodied in its people, friendly, engaged, and proud of their city. The community comes together for various events, from art shows to farmers markets, showcasing the local talent and produce. Health and wellness are also a priority with state-of-the-art medical facilities and wellness programs available for residents. Kettering's commitment to sustainability and innovation is evident in its green initiatives and business developments, making it an attractive place for new businesses and families looking for sustainable lifestyle. With its blend of cultural richness, community focus, and forward thinking, Kettering is a suburb where tradition and innovation meet. Here's the ratings on niche.com. Niche.com puts median home sale price at 174,000. Rent versus own is 36 to 64. Zillow typical home value is 215,000, a little more accurate with a 7.2% increase from last year. Safety ratings on bestplaces.net. And here are the stats and the map for crimegrade.org. Head south on I-75 to Vandalia, aptly known as the Crossroads of America because of National Road, which is 40, and I-75 crossing in the middle of it. It offers more than just a strategic location for businesses and travelers. With a population of 15,000, it's a community where history meets progress, offering residents a quality of life that's hard to match. The city's aviation heritage is celebrated at the Vandalia Butler Historic Society, while the Castle Hills Golf Course offers a scenic retreat for golf enthusiasts. Vandalia's school system is robust, providing students with a solid education foundation and a range of extracurricular activities that foster growth and development. Living in Vandalia means being a part of a community that values safety, community engagement, and recreational opportunities. The city's Parks and Recreation Department offers programs and events for all ages, promoting healthy and active lifestyle. Vandalia's economic development initiatives have attracted a diverse range of businesses, contributing to a strong local economy and job market. The city's neighborhoods offer a variety of housing options from smaller ranch brick homes circa 1950 to 1970 to contemporary residences, ensuring that there's something for every taste and budget. With its welcoming atmosphere and commitment to community well-being, Vandalia is a place where families and businesses can thrive. Vandalia is actually the city that the Dayton International Airport is located into. Here's the ratings on niche.com. 
Niche.com puts the median home sale price at about 170,000. Rent versus own here is 39 to 61. And the Zillow typical home value puts it more at about 210,000. That's an increase of 6.5% over last year. Here's the safety ratings on bestplaces.net. And here are the stats and the map for crimegrade.org. Heading east on I-70, you'll find Clayton and Inglewood, population 13,000. Clayton offers harmonious blend of rural charm and suburban convenience, making it an appealing choice for those looking for a quiet retreat with easy access to metropolitan amenities. The city prides itself on its spacious parks and natural reserves, providing residents with ample opportunities for outdoor recreation and relaxation. Clayton's community is diverse and welcoming with a variety of housing options to suit different preferences and lifestyles. The local schools are committed to academic excellence and offer a range of programs to enrich student life and learning. The city of Clayton is also known for its proactive approach to development and sustainability, ensuring a high quality of life for its residents while preserving its natural beauty. Community events in Clayton foster a strong sense of belonging and provide opportunities for residents to connect with and engage with one another. From its well-maintained streets and neighborhoods to its friendly, community-oriented atmosphere, Clayton is a place where families can thrive and individuals can find a sense of peace and community. If you're buying a home in Clayton or Englewood, which is the next suburb I'm going to talk about, make sure that the seller gets a pre-sale inspection that's required by the city. The median home sale price on niche.com is $180,000, rent versus own is eighteen to eighty-two, dollars and the Zillow typical home value is more like Two hundred and ten thousand. That's seven point one percent above last year. Here's the ratings on Niche.com. Here's the safety ratings on bestplaces.net, and here's the SAT map for crimegrade.org. Inglewood is the perfect suburb for those who love nature and outdoor activities. Population 13,000, the city is home to Inglewood Metro Park, part of the Five Rivers Metro Park system, offering miles of hiking and bike trails, water activities, and scenic vistas. Allwood Nature Center is also a great place to hike and enjoy nature. Inglewood's commitment to community wellness and environmental conservation is evident in its green spaces and public parks. The local schools in Inglewood are highly rated, providing students with nurturing and challenging academic environment. The community is active and engaged with a calendar full of events that cater to all ages and interests. But Inglewood's appeal isn't just in natural beauty. The suburb is also known for its thriving local economy, diverse shopping and dining options, and a friendly atmosphere that makes newcomers feel instantly at home. Safety and security are top priorities with community and law enforcement working closely to maintain a peaceful and safe environment for all residents. Inglewood represents a balanced lifestyle where the tranquility of nature meets the convenience of suburban living, making it an ideal place for families, professionals, and retirees alike. Here's the ratings on niche.com. Niche.com puts median home sale price at 162,000, rent versus own 30 to 70. Zillow's typical home value is more like 205, which is a 7.6% over last year. Here's the safety ratings on bestplaces.net. And here's the stats and map from crimegrade.org. If you wanna check out a few homes in Inglewood and a few other locations, you can check out this video and I'll link it in the description as well. Now, the only green county suburb I'm going to cover is Fairborn. Fairborn offers a unique blend of small town charm and big city convenience, making it an attractive suburb for those who appreciate a close-knit community with easy access to Dayton's resources. Population about 35,000, home to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Fairborn is steeped in a rich history and a culture of innovation and diversity. The community is vibrant with an array of festivals, markets, and public events that bring residents together. Fairborn's downtown area, revitalized and bustling, features local shops, cafes, galleries that showcases the creativity and the entrepreneurship spirit of its residents. For outdoor enthusiasts, the numerous parks and recreational facilities provide ample opportunities for leisure and exploration. Education and safety are pillars of Fairborn community with schools that are dedicated to fostering academic excellence. The proximity to higher education institutions like Wright State University enriches the community with cultural and educational events, adding to the suburbs appeal for families and students. Fairborn's commitment to community safety is evident with its well-equipped public safety departments and community programs designed to keep residents informed and engaged. With its welcoming atmosphere, diverse community and blend of historical and modern amenities, Fairborn is a suburb that offers a rich, fulfilling lifestyle. Here's the niche.com ratings. Niche.com puts the median home sale price at about 155,000. Own versus rent is 51 versus 59. Zillow typical home value is more like up at that 175,000, which also has increased 6.5% over last year. Even though school ratings are lower than others we've looked at, I wanted this on the list because of it being where the Air Force Base is located and a lot of military families ask me about this area in particular. Here's the safety ratings on bestplaces.net and here's the stats and map from crimegrade.org. Now we're moving into a few suburbs of Miami County, starting with 
Tip City. Population 10,000, just one city north on I-75 from Vandalia. As a resident and advocate for Tip City, I can personally attest to its charm and vibrancy. This historic town with its beautifully preserved downtown and welcoming community offers a unique blend of small town warmth and cultural sophistication. Tip City is celebrated for its local businesses from quaint boutiques to gourmet eateries, each adding to the town's distinct character. The annual Mum Festival, highlighting the community's spirit and heritage, draws visitors from across the region. Tip City schools are highly regarded, providing students with quality education and a multitude of opportunities for personal growth. I have a whole video dedicated to Tip City if you want to check it out here, and I'll also link it in the description. Tip City isn't just a place to live, it's a community to be a part of. The town's commitment to preserving its historical charm while embracing modern amenities makes it an ideal place for families, professionals, and retirees alike. Recreational opportunities abound from the scenic bike trails along the Great Miami River to the lush parks that host a variety of public events throughout the year. Safety and community welfare are top priorities with proactive initiatives and responsive public service team, ensuring Tip City remains a safe and nurturing environment. For those seeking a close-knit community with a rich history and a vibrant present, Tip City is unmatched choice. Here's the ratings on niche.com. Niche.com puts the median home sale price up in Tip City of 222,000. The rent versus own is 29 versus 71. And the Zillow typical home value is about 300,000, up from 5% over last year. Here's the safety ratings on blessedplaces.net. And here's the stats and the map from crimegrade.org. Next up in Miami County with a population of 26,000, Troy is a gem in the heart of Ohio where the past and present merge to create a vibrant community. Just take I-75 North one more city up from Tip City. It's about the farthest north from Dayton that I would call a suburb. Troy is known for its historic downtown square, which hosts an array of festivals, farmers markets, and concerts. Troy offers a rich cultural life against the backdrop of classic American architecture. The city is renowned for its annual strawberry festival, a testament to the community's spirit and unity. Education is the cornerstone of the Troy experience, with schools that emphasize innovation and a commitment to excellence, preparing students for a bright future. But Troy's appeal goes beyond its festive atmosphere and educational opportunities. The city is nestled along the scenic, great Miami River, offering residents and visitors alike a plethora of outdoor activities from kayaking and biking to tranquil walks in its well-maintained parks. The sense of community in Troy is palpable with volunteerism and civic engagement at the heart of its identity. For those looking for a blend of small town charm with the amenities of a larger city, Troy offers an ideal living experience where every neighbor is a friend and every street corner tells a story. One of my favorite parts about Troy is the downtown area. If you want to explore that more, make sure to watch this video. Now here's the stats on Troy on Niche.com. Niche.com puts the median home sale price at 176,000 and the rent versus zone 35 to 65. Zillow puts it at 240,000, which is a 6.4 increase over last year. Here's the safety ratings on bestplaces.net and here's the stat and map from crimegrade.org. The last suburb for today is a little more off the beaten path, West Milton. Though smaller in size with only 4,700 population, it's rich in character and natural beauty. Take 571 West from Tip City. You do have to drive a little further since it's not right off the highway, but it's still very easy to get between West Milton, Union, Englewood, and of course, Tip City, Troy, and the Interstate 75. This quaint suburb is perfect for those who appreciate the slower pace of small town life without sacrificing the convenience of city living. The Stillwater River runs through West Milton, providing a serene backdrop from the town's many parks and recreational areas. The community is tight-knit with local events that bring residents together, celebrating the unique heritage and spirit of West Milton. If you like to sled, West Milton has one of the best sledding hills in the Miami Valley. The schools here are community-centric, focusing on providing students with well-rounded and supportive educational environment. Living in West Milton means being part of a community where everyone knows your name and the value of neighborly support is evident. Downtown area with its local businesses, and cozy cafes, serves as a gathering place for residents, offering a slice of Americana that is increasingly rare. The annual festivities and public events are a draw for families and individuals alike, showcasing the best of West Milton's hospitality and warmth. For those seeking a peaceful, family-friendly environment with a sense of community, West Milton is an unbeatable choice. The median home sale price on niche.com is $120,000. Good luck with that. Rent versus own, $27 to $73. Zillow typical home value, more like $191,000. Here's the ratings on niche.com. There are no safety ratings on bestplaces.net for West Milton, but here are the stats in the map from crimegrade.org. So there are the 10 suburbs to consider. Make sure to snag a free copy of my 15 steps to buying. Just comment, send me the buying guide and I'll get that to you. And if you want to learn more about the Dayton area, cost of living, more in-depth overview of specific cities, how to make a great offer on a house, etc., subscribe, like, and don't forget to check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.